and we ran off over a thousand and five hundred copies to a thousand mm. and it went on from there and it pressed it on a white label yeah. because in those days when you're doing music it's a case of you can press music but how do you get it out there yeah, and it was buying the market first yeah right so we've done it on a white label and stayed as a white label Mm-hmm. And it's been on there. I think if you go on to YouTube now and have a look, it's done nearly 20,000 views and it's been on there for years. Mm-hmm. We ain't really pushed it, it's just organically done what it needed yeah. to do. Now, what are the girls then? When no one says, Yeah, I'm getting mad, go low. I want you to step out of that and let the man make him go out. All of the man then broke up. Anytime it's talking, it's coffee and combo. So that, that was your your first insight into recording and so that was my first insight to recording and releasing some music as mm. a artist. artist so the, the the music where it comes down to it is that you can release music but what gravitas is doing when we were doing it where we had 500 or a thousand and we were dropping them to the shops we used to do a thing called sale or return mm-hmm. so we used to go there with our blotting paper mm-hmm. And then give them the top slip and then the phone number, you yeah, yeah, phone yeah. them and say, do you want to replenish? No, uh, yeah, give me another 10 or like yeah. your tune's still there, it's not moving or they all fly mm. out. Can you give us some more? So we, we went through that process mm. and you can see the cells if they were moving. So yeah, because you could see it yourself. Right. And that, that's, I don't have to do that myself. So it was the, either self-distribution or you could take it to Jetstar or one of those and they could put it on their catalog and then push it through, which will mm-hmm. give you nationwide distribution. Yeah, yeah. So we done it as far as we could go mm-hmm. because we controlled the whole thing. Mm-hmm. So we entered it into the stores, done the blotting paper and controlled the sales and the returns of that on that first single. Mm-hmm. So you're learning and that was another reason why we had to do it that way is that we wanted to learn what the process was. Mm-hmm. How do you get into a record shop? How do they phone you say they want to replenish? What's your numbers doing? So mm-hmm. it was a great learning curve. And as you know, like things have changed to mm-hmm. how we digitalize music and how we put music out there. But when we go on to talk about my new project, I tried to return that format where we shift them out as we used to. And you know the real numbers. Right, so music was always in the household as well for me because my father's in the sus band. My father's doing from the sus band. He's the bass player. Okay, okay. So before that, they used to be in a band called Family Choice, Dav Rocks. They used to be called the Millionaires sometimes as well. Mm-hmm. So they used to perform with all the artists that used to come over from Jamaica. So we like your Alton Ellis, your Dennis Brown, they were the first original backing band for okay, some of those okay, okay, okay. So or Tito Simon, Owen Gray, mm-hmm. they've moved with all of them. And it, 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 it's amazing to look back on that side of it. Because mm-hmm. I only know my father that once he moved to the Sus band. Mm-hmm. So the life of, I've seen pictures. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I wouldn't remember because I was too yeah, young. young yeah, yeah. But I do remember in Westbourne Park on Fernet Road where they used to rehearse when they were in the Sus Band mm-hmm. and the original Sus Band. So he's, as a child, I can remember sitting in the sofa. My father used to pick me up and put me in the sofa and I used to watch the band rehearse. So I can even tell you who was on the keyboards, where they're situated, where the drums is as you come mm-hmm. through the doors, where my dad stood, where Junior Bailey, mm-hmm. Hopeton, and even when they brought the um, brass section in with Paul and Bubba, mm-hmm. from because the, they were a 10 piece band. Yeah, yeah, okay, okay. I and a good size band, band in it, yeah, yeah. Ten piece band, they used to do the Nottingham Carnival and things. Mm-hmm. So music was always around. Plus at home, my mum was into country and western, where she used to listen to Jim Reeves mm-hmm. and those type of artists. Yeah, you know, yeah. uh, it music was always around us. It was something where the house felt warm mm-hmm. with music. And then my father was playing his. And funny enough, he didn't really play that much music. He used to play his session music every now and again. Yeah. And we used to run on cassette then. The wonderful sound, to grow up with that as a child and know mm. that they, they can make a sound 
it was wonderful. So that's where my first grounding of music was, oh, watching my father in his band. Obviously going to school and everything. Um, well, was it always being reggae or, I mean, as like when I was growing up? Yes, sir. It wasn't, so it never really started with reggae. Although I was listening to reggae oh, yeah. in the household, I used to be into, heavily into the hip hop, the steady beat, the Rakim, Africa, Bombata. Right, oh. Um, Run DMC, Fat Boys. Okay. That, that was my thing. Is that, and my mum, as when I was going New York regular, mm-hmm. I was in my thing. But not a lot of people know it. It's only when I started. I going wouldn't to, even know that. No, nah, not a lot of people wow. know that. So it's only when I started going to Jamaica now, that's when I said, no, nah, sir, this is it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that yeah. would do it to you. That mm. would do it to you. So, 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 that's it. So, in your case now, was it just reggae or was it all different genres or whatever? I, th- I think my taste over the years has grown. And I think that's from doing musical compositions when I went to secondary school and what, because we had to score music and write music for okay. like, um, our own levels. Oh, so you study music at school? Yeah, we yeah we done music theory. Okay. Yeah, the, the, I remember being in one of the classes and we were doing a piano piece mm. and we started off, I think it was in C minor or something, and we just actually we just improvised all the way down. And there was two, there was another guy playing the piano, so we were playing it together. And it got quite complicated. Mm. And once we put it down on tape for part of our marks, we had to score it. And we were just playing. And then the teacher said, no, you're going to have to convert that into... And he had to help us try yeah. to score the music. And that, that was brilliant. So we learned a lot from that. Okay, okay. And that's why I got into classical, where like Brahms, mm. Tchaikovsky, mm. Handel. I, I do like classics. Mm. Um, but my music, my main love, of course, was reggae. That was the one because that was the heartbeat of everything through the house. Although my mum would dominate the airwaves on a Sunday. Mm-hmm. With like, as I say, the Jim Reeves. Yes, my mum, my mum. Sunday, Sunday's later. So she, she has to be in an yeah. element to, to get comfortable. And... Yeah, so we had everything from Brooke Benton. Mm. You, you, you would name all of them. We had all of them playing through the house. Oh. And reggae was predominantly the, the flavour for me. Mm-hmm. But yes, my taste has grown over the years because you can appreciate and dissect music the way that you need to and listen to certain elements of it. Mm-hmm. So I can cross from each genre if I need to and be comfortable sitting in it and listening yeah, to it. Because your ear you know, is open to everything. Yeah. Correct. Yeah. But reggae would always be that. Predominant. Like, yeah, yeah, the heartbeat yeah. of everything for me. And that's why moving into this music is has to be reggae. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I want to serve the thing well, you know. Nice, nice. All right, so your first... June was plenty of fish. After that, um, where did where did it go? So after plenty more fish in the city, I had a long break with it within the music. Yes, we set up studios and we could dabble in there, mm-hmm. but with music, we always done that thing. Don't forget, if I'm a child of sus, mm-hmm. a son of sus, mm-hmm. it's a case of what you put out has to be quality. Yeah. yeah so yeah. you can't just put out this plinky plinky thing. So I've always had that as a measure. If you're gonna do it, you have to do yeah. it up to that level. And it takes a lot out of you to do music. Mm-hmm. And I found a career outside of music, which became my passion and my love with it, yeah, like yeah, yeah. Um, the retail sector. And music was always secondary. I think when I, I was at the age, when I'm able to fish in the sea, certain elements of life kick in. Well, like you start driving, then you start going out with um, ladies and football kicks in and so you've got so many things that you have to do other than music how are you going to juggle all of them and if that's your true passion you need to do it you need to dedicate yourself to it and never really find the actual time in tea mm-hmm. to sort of concentrate on it at that level that we had to do so I think I had a gap for at least 15, 16 years plus mm-hmm. okay, okay. but I used to make music within the house I've got yeah. a carrier bag full of cassettes and mm-hmm. things and night like, tapes and, and so you're, you're still kind of active of but course. it just wasn't active yeah. out, out, no, out externally yeah, still, because yeah. you need to know that we went to <laughs> Island Records so when we done Plenty More Fish in the Sea I thought it was an option for me to say okay I can do music mm. I've got a few um, compositions on cassette I could take them and we went to Island Records and produced some of the songs and then we got declined. And the reason why we got declined is that they said, have you got any more? And we said, no, that's what we've done. But my idea of going to a major label at that point was say, okay, this is what we've got. Could you advance this or take this or develop this? Yeah, yeah. But they want something take off. more yeah. than, you'd be lucky to go into a major mm-hmm. period at the mm-hmm. moment. And then with five songs, have to be decent. And that's where that was that wake up call. 
Yeah. And the gentleman that we spoke to, and funny enough, I've spoken to a few people and I always wanted to find out who that gentleman was. Godwin Logie. Godwin Logie. Have you heard of Godwin? No. Right, so... It sounds like I, 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 I've heard of it. Right, so, so, that, so, right, so what happened is that when we were recording, it's like we went to a major... So we went to Island Records, mm. believe it or not. So we got in front of Island Records and three or four songs that we had. Then they listened to them. And the gentleman was very soft and graceful about it and said, well, it's not what we're looking for at the moment. Just don't forget, we walked through the reception with U2 plaques mm. and Bob Marley plaques. And we're getting there with a cassette with four songs on there. So it was a good experience. But when he said, take it to fashion. Yeah. So fashion was the label. And... You had all the artists down there, nearest Joseph. Yeah, from, from Starkey back in the other, yeah. From, from Starkey was over there. Peter yeah. Hunting Girl. All of them. Was fashion and there. at that point where we've just roughly, um, I think it was before Plentymore Fish in the Sea. Mm. Yeah, it was. But even then, we hadn't even linked up to do anything yet. Mm. So even before then, I was doing it minty. And we said go to fashion. And then something happened with that band where I didn't go after that island thing and I thought that was a wake up call to me is that if you're going to do it you need to do it up to that level yeah, yeah, yeah. and it's about you the see, investment see, yeah, it's yeah. the investment on it as well because mm-hmm. now the studio inside the house mm-hmm. but it's a case of how far are you going to go I was an engineer yeah, how can yeah. you program it yes I can get a sound out of it but you, it's not production that you can take out in the street mm-hmm. and then I ended up moving from that band and we didn't even have a name like we were just individuals and mm-hmm. I wasn't even sparking melody at that time because I was just a musician playing the keyboards and we had other singers mm-hmm. and I moved with this crew in Brixton and I met um, a trick who's still a mentor of mine today mm-hmm. and it was a case so we were working in Brixton and I was going back home to Hertfordshire and he was doing some work over in Hendon and he asked me did I want to lift back up um, the road because he was going that way and by then I was taking the train so mm-hmm. that means I couldn't even drive it anywhere I had my license at that so I'm still, like 16, 17 doing mm-hmm. music he was just chasing this music thing but even before that I remember when we moved to Hertfordshire I was still going back down to West London because I was in a band called Caress mm-hmm. with my friend Mark and I remember okay. uh, we were doing that back from Westbourne Park days mm-hmm. and when we moved to Hertfordshire my father was, still was in the sus band yeah. going back down there and I said dad I've got a rehearsal today can I go back to rehearsal and he said well, rehearsal what are you talking about rehearsal mm. <laughs> <laughs> and I said I've got a little music for you yeah. and I remember my mum who's always always championed me to go somewhere with my dad or say take him with you and it was always my mum Mm. Well, yes, my father would say, okay, you can come this week. But he also knew that you had to get up for school in the morning. They're very disciplined like that. So, right, 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 right thing to do. It's just on the stairs. Yeah. Anytime I used to know that he used to go into the spare room downstairs because mm. we lived in a tall townhouse mm. and get his bass guitar out on a Thursday. And you're playing fast and, and, hey, and seeing what's going on. I'm here. sitting there waiting for him and said, can I come with you? He's like, no. And you're upstairs crying. Or he said, yes, you grab your coat. Mm. And there was one time I asked and I really wanted to go. And uh, I remember he said, no, not this evening. I remember my mum calling out from the kitchen and she said to him, D, take him with you. And I remember he said, come on, and he put my coat on and we went out. So it's ch- precious, precious moments, Minty. Yeah, no, no, you can't things. get back them then. No, you time. can't. No. And you grew up in that at the time mm. and you're small and you just think yeah. it's a wonder. Because I was that small. Like, when I used to fall asleep at rehearsal, I don't think this 10 piece band making music. Mm. I used to fall asleep. I remember my dad used to pick me up after the rehearsal and put me in the car and then drive home. 10 minutes down the road mm. and lift me out mm. and they take me all the way stairs to the townhouse and put me in my bed mm. and things like that so those are precious yeah, things precious and you can't forget that so that's always around the music yeah, yeah, yeah. now I still remember the times when I'm getting into music my, my, my father used to play sound they used to keep the house parties regular yes. so when I'm supposed to be in my bed I'm on the stairs watching what's going on and, and he, he's he's playing the turn to him, playing music and he's turning around and said ah this his yeah. boy won't go to his bed right. so he said alright come here and stand right there so yes. when he's playing the music uh, he's playing the playing the, the record remember it's one mm-hmm. turntable business so I'm there watching and I'm saying mm-hmm. I see people rubbing down the wall and all these things I said right. oh, I saw it I saw it really I got yes, yeah I'm going to say yeah okay. we like, like this thing yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm.
But it's an enjoyable so, thing. It goes to show you mm. that the music is in you from a small age, yeah, and then yeah. you have to have your, your your parents or somebody that will influence you in yeah, that yeah, way yeah. that can say, okay, this is how this really does work. So mm. it's all a story still, you know. You done some with Red Man. Red right. Man okay. UK. Right. So Red Man UK. That was mm. um, when I get through with you. That was a Patsy um Klein cover. When I get through with you, not one of the popular ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another reason why we, we, we chose it is that I didn't want to do anything on top of crazy or yeah, 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 yeah. Um, any one of our major ones. Mm. And then we looked at when I could go through with you and I think when Linda Lewis, because I was signed to DBS Records at that time. Mm. So that was the first release after, I think that was 2014. So it's a massive gap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and I said I really established myself within the company at Toshiba when I was working and that was my love it's still today is my pride and joy like doing mm. that retail delivery on a big mm. like um, corporate scale like with yeah. enterprise level stuff yeah, that yeah, excites yeah. me you know that you can build a system yeah, I yeah. think so you have to go somewhere for music to take over what my 9 to 5 passion is yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and the thing is that as I said, when I run my nine to five, I don't discuss music, so I could go years and don't even speak about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So in 2014, mm. when um, I went back to Linda Lewis, I said, okay, I'm gonna do it again. Let's, let's go again. So what, 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 was, it, was it Linda Lewis, or was it their idea for you, for you to do this song or, or No, I mean, because you're around Suspan all the time, is that they, 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 their careers, they were still running. 2014, mm. they're still making albums. I think they probably was on their, seventh album at that that stage or mm -hmm. even their sixth album yeah something old something new mm -hmm. so whatever album it was at that point they were still working but i remember asking for a slot with linda was busy yeah, yeah and it's yeah. not just where you're just going to turn up and you're going to get this is linda lewis we're talking about mm -hmm. so he worked with judy boucher he's had stuff with tifari and or loads of people mm. if you look at Lindell's catalogue what he's done including the Sus Band some of the Calypso stuff mm. he's a very very well run he's got his hands in, 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 in yeah. everything yeah. 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 right so yeah. people even go there and he'll build it orchestrated for you and everything mm. plus okay. he was touring the world yeah, yeah, at yeah. Those times still doing well. his own projects but still got Correct. his hands in, in that and other because, people's because Kufi yeah. Records is um, Lindell's label Kufi, and then yes, he's yes, got yes. DBS Records so oh, Sus wow. Band mm had moved from Lucky 13 Records to DBS Records at that point. So when I went into Lindell, he said, if you're going to do it, then we'll drop it out on DBS Records. Mm. So that went on DBS. I'm sure I remember Red, pissing, pissing in the Red, Red Man, yeah. Red Man, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Because <laughs> Koofy Le label Kufi. was, um, is a seal, if I remember rightly, it was silver label or something. Was it silver? Yeah, it was, right, so they started on a silver thing because it was silver with, the writing was quite strange yeah, the way yeah, that they yeah, write yeah. the Koofy word in. Kufi, yeah. K U F F. K U F E. Oh, K U F E, yeah, oh, Kufi. Okay, okay. Yeah. But I know it was, it was written in a uh, kind of weird way. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. and that's what made it stand out mm. as well. And it's big, right on top. Yeah, Kufi yeah, yeah. Records. So that's Lindell's arm label. Okay, and then okay. there's sort of subsidiaries of that, which mm -hmm. is NVS and DVS. So NVS and yeah. DVS record labels. Okay, okay, and we okay. were signed to DVS record labels mm. as well as it was Kufi. Okay, so so they put out the tune with, with you and, and, and Red Band UK. Yes, and that that done very well. I so mean, who, who it charted? Was it you that brought in Red Band UK? Right, or, or so was it I, I contacted um, Red and like bless up sir, like the bond that we have will last forever mm -hmm. because he was with Sun Cycle at the time. Or he may have just um, started working on some solo project. Mm -hmm. And I remember like thinking, I want a DJ on it. And I've always wanted to work with either General Levy or Sweet Irie. I've always wanted to do something with them. Yeah, yeah, but you yeah. have to wait. You can't jump into yeah, yeah. those things. So I thought, I was. I think I did out scores to like um, do it as well. So there's that gap. Mm -hmm. And I think I did go and see him to talk about um, that one. And nothing happened with it. Mm -hmm. So you said that I still want to do it. And then I was looking at uh, a video with Sun Cycle working on some song, and it was filmed in front of Trellick Towers. Okay, yes, yes. So it had Dolomite in there, I think Gappy was on it. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, because Gabby was part of the Unbelievable. Mm. And I was fixating on this video, and one of them kept popping out, which was like um, Red, Red Man UK. Yeah. Okay, okay. The way that he came in. Yeah, because he's got that solid voice, like, yeah. yeah right, yeah, yeah. so once he'd done that, I said, okay. I'm gonna treat you so sweet and kind. I'm gonna drive him right out of your mind. Right and you mind. won't even know if you meet. Walk right past him on the street because I want you. I want you. Girl. I need you so. Oh, that man will have to go. When yes. I get through with you, you love me too. When I get through with you, you love me too. Girl, mm. you have the keys to my heart. I tell you from the start. Me not go leave you lonely, even when me travel far. Me buy you pretty roses and chill in a deep park. Five star hotel, champion and caviar, girl. You know you to worry, girl, me not hurt you. Me tell you how much time, girl, I love you. We know the things that we lovers do. Baby, girl, my love so true. That man is again contact. And he's such a genuine, genuine person. Yeah, man, nice, nice bird. Ah, nice he, he's got a big heart and everything. He, he he deserves more in the music, and I hope that it will come out more for him in the next couple of years as well. Mm. So once I linked Brad, he said, yeah, come down, we'll have a look at it. And I think we went to a rehearsal room mm. down in Wilsden and we were inside there and I sung me idea and he was over in the other corner. And if end it got back in. Not to ask straight away, yeah. Wow. I, I've never seen it. Mm. No, it's, yeah, yeah. Had the verses and everything. He said, you drop out this spot and you jump in there and do, 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 do. Mm. Yeah. Okay, so that, that came as well. What was it? Was that pressed on vinyl or was it? Wait, it was, right, so at that point in 2014, that would have gone digital. So we went digital. Oh, yes, and that's yes, where yes. we said, okay, so we need artwork. We need to know how that works and mm. things. So we got the artwork done. That was done by Steph Sketches, who'd done the original artwork, and also done by Christian, who was part of my media team now, Lucky 13 Records. Mm. Um, so we kept the same team for all these years as well. That's what makes it a lot more okay, exciting nice, and what nice. we're doing is that we've still got this relationship mm -hmm. from over 10 years ago plus we released Brent More Fish in the Sea at that moment it charted as well mm. it was in the iTunes charts as well okay, so okay. It, it, it was inside there done well okay, okay. and we've done a few shows up and down the country as well with Rudy Rich so I can't forget to mention Rudy Rich as well Oh, you and, so you, you and Scorps, they, they was doing, doing shows and all that. No, thing. that was me and Redman. You oh, you and Redman? Yeah, okay, so okay. me and Redman done shows up and down the, the, like, like the country. We've done a few shows. Mm. And, okay. okay. and we've done radio interviews as well to yeah. promote the song. So that's all on the new website explaining about what we've done. But that was a great time. Yeah. And he's a great guy. I okay, wish him nice, all the very nice, best. Nice. Yeah. Okay. All right, so moving on now, you've been working on this, this album for a little while. Tapestry. Tapestry. The album. Yeah, it, 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 I, I tell you what, where it comes down to tapestry. Mm. It's one of those things that we started a project and we said, okay, if you're going to do this, the body of work you're going to have to do is going to need to be at that level. Yeah, yeah. So, but only like quality of it, over quantity, you see what I'm saying? Take yeah, your time. so before we even done it, we done Rampid, and Rampid was the one 2019. Oh, that's it, that Rampid, yes, Rampid yes, was yes. the one in 2019. That when we, Rampid went to Jamaica and started doing things in Jamaica mm -hmm. as well. And that was, yeah, but that was good to see because it shows that your name is still out there. I'm still sparking melodies, so yeah, yeah. I still got a name out there. When you put something out, people know that you're there because you've been there for a long time. From me, I day I'm in need. Mama said to me, watch out for them people and make them take no liberty. Oh, you are rampant. You must be things they miss out. Don't a donkey from a horse. Just cause they make them I will up. And 
and, and, and that, that, that tune is catchy. It's proper vibey and it's got a nice vibe to it and it's proper catchy. It's the yeah. words inside yeah, there. Yeah, that that yeah. song's got a deeper meaning yeah. in there. I like how you, how you, how you put the, the local content together. Yeah, yeah. Mama said if you nip it in the bud before them start it anyway, they've got feature drug get them and then park it. Yeah. And some people say, is that you did? And some mm. of it's fast. Yeah, because you, you're like a DJ. Cause I never really know you as a kind of DJ side. So it was kind of sounded a bit different for me, but I said, Oh man, it, it got down well, man. We, yeah. we used to do that Dementi <laughs> women's on the sound system. So when we were looking yeah. at, let's go back to Scorps and that. So I used to stand, remember we used to go out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I always used to stand there and watch you guys doing selecting. Mm. And when Junior Dan and Scorps would pick up the mic and start DJing. Because mm. I remember one of the first specials that you played with Bluebird and Sweet Irie. Okay, yeah, oh, yeah, I was yeah. just blown over by so, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I soon, I soon do a mix of that, you know. Cause I, I was just me. absolutely blown away by that and thinking, wow, you got, you've got all your names in it and everything. Mm, mm. And I thought that only happened in Jamaica at a certain point. Yes, you know that Java and Tipitone and some some Saxon mm. would have like dub plates. You know all of that. But to know that like, I know you and you're playing in dub plates and that, that was like, wow. Yeah, How close yeah. are you to this thing? Yeah, no, you know, cause remember you see Sweetie and all them. I, I kind of grew up with them. Yes, because all my all our moms know each other. Yes, so that's all. When when we go around visiting people, I'm there ramping with Sweetie and 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 and. and well, the whole of we grew up together. From, Amazing. From, from youth, so. And that goes to show you how close you were to me. Then even yeah. that when I was growing up, because Sweetie didn't live too far from me. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, and funny enough, I remember remember Grange Hill. Yeah. There was Tucker's Luck. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, Tucker's Luck was filmed on the same estate where I was. Okay. In. And I remember one time Dean and a few other people, or Sweet and a few mm. of the other guys, said, I want to be in that. I remember them asking the producer because I remember being outside and they said, Well, can we have a walk on part? And in one of the Tucker's Luck, you could see them coming down mm. the side and walking on. And they managed to get in there as well. And it goes to show you that those guys from then <clears throat> knew what they wanted and they could get things done. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. So uh, Rampwid so in 2019, we released Rampwid in 2019. Mm -hmm. Rampwid done well, went to Jamaica, mm -hmm. started playing out in Jamaica. Didn't do much over here, but it was online. So yeah, it was yeah, moving. Yeah. So you know the digital format. So now we've transferred from how to get music from a cassette reel, mm -hmm. how to get out on digital, how to market through digital. So we was quite happy with that. So we know what the process is. Yeah, yeah. And then you get these housing platforms that can do multiple distributions and yeah. many stores. Mm -hmm. So we, we knew how to do that. And that was, again, was on DBS Records with Linda Lewis. That was it for me, because obviously Rampit came out in 19, mm -hmm. and just after 19, 20, that was the COVID year, where it was lockdown. Yeah, so so what what that done is that I managed to go to Jamaica within that period before um, COVID hit. Mm. So I performed over there as well. So I was introduced when I went back home to Clarendon and things as, oh, this is uh, my son, the one that done ramp with. Mm. So I saw him. And then one of my cousins would be, and I said, you know, the word, word for word. <laughs> so they said, you must do a show while you're down there. And then mm. I ended up going to Move Up Records in Maypen. Mm. And that was more. That was a funny story. Because where we live, up on the hill, mm -hmm. it was a case of once you're up there, you're up there. Mm. So I wanted to go to the studio, and my mum knew I wanted to go to the studio. So we were out in a taxi one time, and I think it was Mineral Heights or Washington Heights is one of the places over there that I wanted to go to the studio. Mm. And one of the taxi men said, "Yeah, I'll come back and get you." and then we'll go up there and he didn't turn up and I was waiting there all day for him mm. you know where that childhood memory comes back yeah, where yeah. you're waiting for people and that's the thing I don't do now Minty I don't wait if I need something to do and I just get yeah, it done no, no, no. Then, then days are done now so but if you need to it, get it, into, it, it yeah. revisited me while I was there mm. because I'm thinking mm. that I'm dressed I'm ready I'm sitting there I'm waiting for you and then he didn't turn up mm. so I sort of went on a low because I knew that I wanted to do it and I had no means of getting there I didn't know anybody around there mm -hmm. and I remember going to my cousins who lives down the road in Folly and it was a case of when we were down there my mum could see that I wasn't 100% because you know that you come to do something as yeah, well yeah, as you've been kind of let down okay so we, 
a taxi was going down and they held down the taxi. One went on, so it's two. And the other guy said, go on, go on, I'll take this one. And it ended up being my cousin, Son. Mm. So Son picked us up and turned the vehicle around and we're going up the road. And my mum was sitting in the back. And then all of a sudden she nudged someone and said, hey, you don't have any studios down here, do you? And he said, yes, mum, I don't know of a studio. He said, you couldn't do me a favor, come and collect him tomorrow, because they come here to do some music. That goes to show you, mm. my mum's been championing my things from when I was a baby. Remember yeah, yeah, when yeah, she yeah. said to my father, yeah. take him with you, D. And that, 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 that's the best way, because you see, when, 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 when they could see these things, they'll try and put it, Lead you on to the right yeah, part. Yeah, to, no, 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 yeah. I'm in the car quiet, Minty, because yeah. I, I'm probably in a stopper in a mood, you know. Mm. And it, it's just that nudge. And I'm grown, so I should be able to get myself out of that and say, I need to make these things happen for myself. But you go into that thing where, you know what, I just write this off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I said, don't come here for the weeks that you're going to be here and don't do what you set out to do. Mm. And that goes to show you the power of my mum, you know. But it's the power of my mum where mm. she would say, yeah, you don't know where a studio is. And when he said, yeah, I do know where a studio is, he came back the next day soon and he took me down to Move Up Records down mm. in Maypen. And when I walked inside there, just the sound. Yeah, no, no, it's a studio in Jamaica. It, it, it's, it's just the whole atmosphere and everything. It's, it's it, nice. It, yeah. It's the sound and worked with a few local artists down there. Mm. And I wanted to do my own song. And we were recording You Got Me, which is on my new album. Um, we laid everything down. I had done it like several years before that. Mm -hmm. And then I just wanted to polish this stuff up now. So when we done You Got Me, it turned out amazing. Put the drums on it. Mm -hmm. And when I was vocal on it, um, a gentleman called Favourites came down who knows Sanchez and works with him. And I was in the vocal booth and he said, Duke, you need to... So I've had that training yeah, and that so guidance you, you, you from you how yeah, your breathing yeah. and your pronunciations and he's changed his and he said, I don't really want to change up your thing, change up your thing. Mm -hmm. But now they, 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 I like how they did it because if they could see it and say, no, nah, you need to do this, do this encourage you. It was and good, do, yeah, it's because good. I'm the right, yeah. so other than Linda, like, I'm not been in a booth or working with other people because we mm -hmm. house it with inside. You don't really yeah. need to go outside yeah. for anything. So... It's a case of when I went there, you're sort of feeling yourself in the booth and yeah, no, it was a great experience. Mm -hmm. It was a great experience. And they said, you're going with things with it, with it, with this tune here. And, so, and years later, sorted. Take my hand, you say you got me. Here's my hand, please pull me ashore. One or do you record quite a few of it? We've done three songs. I've run, I've done one, uh, Red, Earth is Red, or something like that. I don't think we tired it. But where me come from, the earth is red. I'm me sleep all good in a me bed. I'm me belly full yap. I'm me nally from yap. Mm. So we've done that one, we didn't do anything with that. So you have plenty of music where you can do over the years and you yeah, don't yeah. really do anything with it. Okay, things okay. Like so we had that one. Mm. But what I had to do was establish the sound minty. That's all I was there for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And establish a contact that I could, once I return, I should be and able to maintain that relationship. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is for. So the reason why I went inside it, just to test it, to say, okay, we've done that. And a few days after that, we've done that big show, mm. like that up, up in the hills. And that, that was amazing, because I've sung in Jamaica, yeah, yeah. like, and people came and... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, it's, a, it's a different vibration, it's a different... It's, it's just a different settings over there. Yeah. And, and playing out elsewhere and being over there, especially in Jamaica, the land of reggae. So, so it's, it's just, just nice, you know? But it, it was where the Rampart is known out there, yeah. up in the hills and things. And to be from that side of it, and when mm. I returned home and 
they embraced it and mm. things. Like, I can't wait to go back there yeah, to yeah, do yeah. another one. Can you imagine like bringing the new album back out there and mm. doing it on mm. that scale, which we're planning to do like come next year in 2024. So nice, I'm nice. looking forward to that, yeah. Okay. So after the ramp it now, then um, you started going to this project, Tapestry. What is it? Yeah, so after we went to Jamaica, we established a sound. So we said, okay, what songs have we got? Because we've written loads of songs like mm -hmm. for that. But it was a case of, we decided EP album. And I remember having talks with um, Christopher Ellis and we were talking about um, theories and strategies and what strategies that we were going to use. Yeah. And I remember saying, he said, he wants to go EP your album. I think at that time he wasn't too sure on what strategy it was going to be. And I said, my strategy is going to be where I'll probably do as many singles as I can mm -hmm. to get to the album project. Mm -hmm. So I concentrate on what I want to do. So we said that we're going to push strong single, singles. And he's done exactly that. And then watching people like Christopher Ellis, and that, that salute you as well. So, hey, you know, you know the thing. Yeah, man, he's doing Yeah, thing my thing gosh. Yeah. It, it, and you know, is it sometimes things don't all happen just at a time, you know, it's like a up upward process. Of course it yeah, will be. Climb and it's a process yeah. that you have to go through. But you see this stay on stand, focus, you'll get there, you'll get there. And he's 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 seen his, his thing now. Yeah, so, he, he, yeah. Chris, you're bad. Not for a long time, I think. Yeah, he, he knows it yeah. too as well. But he's very like modest with mm. it. And nah, he, he's, he's real to the thing. Yeah, of course know, he is. Yeah, and, and, that, and, and he's that's grounded, like, but grounded, don't forget, yeah. he's a son of the music, yeah. very much like myself. Because don't forget, me and Christopher would have been running around cables and speaker mm. boxes mm. when we were no age. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, he went on stage and sung with his father yeah, and yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. Like, that that was, at the time, yeah. I was a keyboard player. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you played the keyboards before we go on set. Afterwards, you ain't coming up here to press no keys. Mm -hmm. So it was different. I wasn't singing at this. Mm. But you could see that he had it in him from an early age and he's gone on to do what he's done. So, and funny enough, I remember meeting him in 2014. Yeah. And that's when Red Band was performing down at one of Gappy Ranks' things. Yeah. And that's the first time I met him. We had that conversation. Yeah. From then, then to now, we've always mm -hmm. spoken. And I, yeah, and I yeah. really do no. appreciate the conversation we have about Rain. It's not only for a good while. All my, all my yard will come in and chill from, from where, where, yeah, from, and this, this years ago. And, and maybe he's done some tunes with Peckins as well. Yes, of course. So that, that's where I kind of bonded with Chris, and then he done his show at Jazz Cafe mm -hmm. um, years ago. Um, yeah, I videoed that. You know, that will win yes. everything. Yeah, so, so, yeah, man. Hey, look, Chris, man. The new album, Tapestry. Tapestry. Where did it all start? Where, I, where when did you just say, right, we got to focus on this album? Okay, so, so what it does is that I went to my father and says, I want to do the album. And he says, okay, you're, you, you're ready to do what you need to do. He said, like, um, just put your ideas together and then let's see what you got. Mm -hmm. And I think I had to get to six songs and submit six songs for everybody to have a listen, just to see what, what, the, what the growth was, what the path was, how you're gonna do it as mm -hmm. well. So, um, presented the six and we said, okay, let, let's do it. Then I had a conversation with Linda Lewis, who's my mentor in the music. And mm -hmm. then he said, well, if you're gonna do this, you're better off going back home to Lucky 13 Records and do it. And I thought, what oh, no, that? That's something. So all the execs put it back and then said, okay, Lucky Fame Records is like, um, what you're going to do, put out your first album on that, just like it fathered. Mm -hmm. So for me to have my first album on yeah. Lucky Fame So Lucky Records, 13 Records, that, that's like your fa your father's label? That's the Sussman's label. So okay. Junior, um, Hopi, you've got um, my dad, you've got Linda and all them inside there. They're the ones that put Lucky 13 Records together. So that's it. And Lucky 13 Records is a the oh. record label that's been there for over 40 years. Hey, senorita, come connect your feet. Come make me rub you tonight. I really want to chase your blues. Hey, mamacita, come come rest yourself, yeah. Come make me rock you tonight. I really wanna chase your blues. 
So the thing is that what you're going to put out there needs to be that certain level of yeah, quality. Yeah, good, good, and if you look at the Sussman's yeah. music, what they put out there was conscious music as well as lovers rock music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I can't go putting anything no. that's going to like um, disgrace the yeah, label yeah, yeah, or yeah, anything. Yeah. You've got to keep up the standard. Yeah, yeah. Of course. And that was another thing where, you know, if you're going to do it and you want to do it to a standard, deliver it to a standard, you can put things out every now and again, but the expectations of it doing something is going to be very slim and very remote. Mm-hmm. So with a project now, we push out a project, let's give it everything we got. So we brought in some, some top people to work on this thing. Yeah. Now, but because you know what? Um, was it, was it last year? I can't remember, but the first time you, you said, right, you invited me to this, the listening party for the album. Yes. Yeah. And, 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 you know what? I like how he done that. I'm not gonna lie, because he had Thank some professional you. people Thank with, with the major DJs, um, yes. people in the music industry, mm-hmm. and some come down, eat a meal, nice and everything, and and relax yourself. Yes. And then you had he's playing tracks, and then said, "No nah, man, I like the settings, man." Very important, Minty, mm-hmm. and that's what we done at Lucky Thirteen Records. Is that when we first done it, we said, "Okay, if you're gonna put it there, you get to build your team." Yeah. You get to do everything yourself because none of the stuff that from the suspect is going to come over with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you're just an artist on the label. So you build your team and then work it and then they'll facilitate whatever they no, need. I like how you've done it, man. And it, then, was, it was a great and night. Everyone listened to the songs and gave their thoughts. The, the way you had the, like, the sheets out and you said, you know what? Because i got a good listening in it. Yes, sir. So, so um, there's some tracks. Um, that, that gravitated to me more than yes, other chaps. Of course, but, you know I'm, I'm an honest. Best way to be me, yeah. and that that way you could take people's feedback and say, okay, I think this is good. Yes, sir. And from that, I know my my my, my I know my my chief. I can tell you which one it is. The Guardians. Yeah, Guardians. <laughs> I know it's Guardians because <laughs> I I knew yeah. it was Guardians because mm-hmm. the thing when we done it, we I said we had six. Yeah. So we had to go through the six. And I think we presented five that night. We all marked and we got the scores that went back to the label. The mm. label says, okay, this is the order. From those six, before we get to the album, what the single's going to be. Yeah. So they said, slowly, slowly. Yeah, because you'd be putting out the singles. Concrete Jungle. Yeah. Then it went to It's Only You. Then it was Catching Feelings. Catching Feelings. Catching Feelings was the last Catching Feelings, one. Bigfoot. Was that last so, one? Sometimes I'm running them all out. I'm yeah. not, I, um, no. So it's got two feelings. Slowly, slowly is the last one, no? Slowly, slowly was first. Slowly, slowly, can't you, lady? I'm gonna make you mine one day. Slowly, slowly, can't you, lady? I'm gonna lock you up inside my cage. Then we went cold concrete jungle. It's a cold concrete jungle where I'm from. Mm-hmm. Wolves outside your door, that's where they belong. Predators and poachers will take you at a glance. Abide by parents' rule, don't give them that chance. Mama, mama. Then we done catching feelings. Darling, I'm catching feelings. My heart is reeling. You set me free. Darling, my heart is reeling. I'm catching feelings. I know what this is. And then this year, 20. 23 February, Valentine's Day. The only year. Really, it's sunny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh. Call me a fool. I didn't turn around to see how far we drifted apart. It's only you. It's only you. But well, we're going back to revisit those. I we don't. There's not throw. I don't do throwaway music. Maybe. Yeah, no, no, no. Yeah, you see, if you're doing something, 
do it so there's no time there's no date on it they, they, these tunes could be yeah it's most definitely put out timeless. a year in or day at time it's, as I said, and this is why yeah. we're seeing a revival of the sus music because mm. I mentioned it and DJs are picking it up and DJs are playing it mm. so if you log on to the radio sometimes you'll hear a sus band and they were good. come on if you look at the yeah. sus band and look at their history where you're going to you try to type in S-U-S band reggae mm. and you'll see them on the tube with Lee Scratch Perry um, I know, they've been going for years and, they, and, and they've done a session with John Peel yeah. they were the first band one of the mm. first bands to have a double session so he released it before mm. and he'd done it again and John Peel said himself I don't really do this often but this session here a sus band played it twice which is a, a major feat Mm. And it's sad that he's not here to, today to look yeah, yeah. to know that something that he triggered all those years ago is that there's a now a son of sus that's doing the music mm. business. Oh, so that's time nice. waiting for no man. That's why when you to do something, do it. Mm -hmm. If you say you're gonna put your mind to it and get it done. Okay. So with the album Tapestry is that we said we're gonna do some releases off the album first. So what mm. we've done, we done slowly, slowly, then we went concrete jungle mm. and we done Catching and, and he spaced them out. No, I mean, so we did. So yeah, we went yeah. every four months. Yeah, yeah. We were going to shoot them Which out. Is because good, so it's just it's keep the name buzzing. Yeah, but yeah. more to the point is that we're testing the market. Yeah, yeah. Because the thing is that we know that you can throw something. It what sticks, Minty? Mm -hmm. Because they're quality songs. You see that it catches, it goes yeah, up, and then yeah. it goes back down, and it goes up, and it goes back down. So you're thinking, okay, you need more of a machine behind this. Mm -hmm. So you're going to need the video. You're going to need what you need to do. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All those things when we go back and read. So it's like, like, as they say, testing the waters before you, you put out the full you, you, thing. You need yeah. to know what you're getting into. The music yeah. industry has yeah, changed yeah. so much, and you're thinking that the person saying, Oh, I'm getting a thousand streams, I'm not getting a penny, I'm getting a million streams, I'm getting a couple of pounds. Mm -hmm. That doesn't pay for the return of investment on what you've done per single, yeah, yeah. much less an album. Mm -hmm. Then you had another function at, in Acton, which is like a. Like a it's like a, <coughs> a, a little pre, I have to say, a, a pre and an insight into the album. Right. Where you've done a live, live performance. Yeah, so with the, with the, bands like the and same the... people that were at the actual listening party mm. for the actual Tapestry project. And at the name, we didn't even release the name or anything at the first listening one. Mm. Then we had more like an album reveal. It was an album launch because the album wasn't ready. Yeah. And we got pushed back and delayed and on things that we were doing. So it didn't turn out the way that it should have been. But we had Miss Storm coming from America, and then mm. salute to Miss Storm, the bad, amazing bad, artist, good, you need amazing singer, and 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 then um yeah the sex of Marubia, Marubia yeah, as well. I was talking about her and, and fabulous plays plays well. Yeah, yeah, she's on the album. Yeah. She's on like at least five tracks on the Tapestry album, mm. and we had um Sugarman Sam. Sugarman Sam was also down there, who's now a guitarist who's in the Revenant, okay. a new band. They're doing some fantastic things as well. Mm -hmm. So these people must go out and look at look at them. They were part of the journey and the tapestry album. Yeah, okay. It's good. You see the whole album. As I say, it's, it's not. It's an inter international album. That's what I, I look at that album and I Thank say it's the international album. And that's because, what we intend to do, yeah, isn't it? Because you got something for everybody, and you got some the some for the lovers up. You got something for the conscious mind. You got something for the those who need to be empowered. Yes. But one that grabs me, my child. I like I like that child. one. Because it just reminds me of me and my daughter and, and, and I'm telling her, I'm showing her the right thing, I'm giving her the, the training, the, 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 the template to follow. Very good. And, 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 and Very she's good. taking up and she's continuing and then she's doing her thing. Don't let no one push you around. Find yourself on solid ground. You've got to push yourself, my baby. My, my child is one of those songs that came yeah. from from one of those places that you have a look at and then say why would I write that I write that as a child myself mm. and I write that because I've got my daughter 
Mm. And it's those things that I don't let no one push you around. Yeah. Like, speak up. Like, if anything happens, you've got to keep going and things like that. It's those words that will always be there. My Child will be released as a single in itself with a video. And Sugarman Sam, rock guitarist, yeah. nice. needs a solo on there. Because as you well. see, I was just about to say, I like the, the, yeah, the, the guitar, the, 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 the guitar solo, solo in there. It's tough. Don't, you wait till yeah. you see when we what we do with that music video when we come yeah. to doing all the visuals. You, know, you know what I admire? The arrangement on on a lot of these songs. The arrangement is like um as I said, the got international flavour. The harmony's on point. The, the, yeah, the, that's the, Alex the, Watson who does the harmony. There's even some there. some tunes where you got some I'm sure that I could hear some violin and all that in it. There are strings on there, yeah, there there's yeah. that so Marubia um also works out of Germany who with Fontaine as well mm -hmm. they really helped me set the strings especially a song that we've got there which is a ballad addicted to poison they took the strings on there <laughs> wow there, that's yeah. a, that's another favourite alright see Guardians is my number one song good Guardians yeah. is number one song then the second one that I keep playing regular 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 um, addicted to poison yeah addicted to poison addicted to poison that, that, that's a powerful song maybe I'm hooked Strung out like a crook, addicted to poison. Just give me some time, I'll clear my mind. I know this for certain. Preparing the noose, they'll hang me at noon. They'll kill me for certain. But I'll escape and revive my faith. Keep your final curtain. So, so all, and all these things like addicted boy because it's a nice subtle flavor yeah so how did how did come around addicted boy all of these songs you write yourself yeah all of them every, every single one yeah. is penned by me so it's worked with different um producers as mm. well so we build some of the rhythms and work with jazz well and this also work with a production team out of New York okay. that does some of the production on some of those say Saviour B from Africa mm -hmm. who's also on there big big musician piano plays it okay, okay, okay. and then we've got um, Alex Watson who does the backing vocals on there I'm doing a load of backing vocals as well mm -hmm. um, we've got Linda Lewis who plays a few things on there um, D my producer mm -hmm. who I worked with at Imagination with Lee yeah. John Lee John um, okay. was in the music industry, I had the privilege to work at Lee John's studio, mm -hmm. and to this day we still speak to Lee. Because what I, what I noticed with the, yourself, um, they call it the, the falto. Yes, falto. You you singing in falto. Yeah, like you know, the, and a falsetto. Yes, yes, and, and and that's the thing is that my training where it comes down to me singing and my breathing came mm -hmm. from my singing coach, which is Malcolm Rivers. So I've been probably tri properly trained on how to sing and how to breathe. And, yeah, yeah. and that's another thing that when Mike Anthony sent me a message and says, I can hear you, Duke. Mm. I can hear you breathe and your pronunciation. And and that means the world to me. Mm -hmm. People like Mike Anthony, yeah. where you got short enough in back for more. Yeah. Those oh, he's, he's a man, he's experienced in his business and then he's yeah. an established artist for, for many years and still going strong. But for him to send yeah. me a message and say, Duke, yeah. okay. you're doing your thing, that means a lot. And then we also got Pete Huntingale that mm -hmm. I got to work with on this yeah. album. Another top, 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 top musician. I call him the boss. Mm. I call him the boss for a reason because I grew up on Pete Honeygill's music as well and just mm. his voice and his range and everything was fantastic and Linda Lewis unfortunately wasn't well at one point during the process of making Tapestry mm. and that was one they had the delays in there we had to switch houses and I had to take some stuff down to Stingray and Stingray kicked in thank you very much Dilly um, mm. he, 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 yeah, he mm. looked after me he welcomed me into the house and it was a case of he would do things and that relationship comes back from Rampwood mm -hmm. and that's where Jazzwood came in is that he said like I want to do some more music while I'm here let's just utilise it so he said let's call Jazzy in so we called Jazzy in and Jazzy played on a couple of songs and 
built the actual structure for it. So I went with guys there and went over yeah. the top of it. Okay, nice. And Cold Concrete Jungle is one, yes, of them, yes. which is Jazzwood on there. Uh -huh. And the production went from there right up to that once Jazzwood touched okay, it. Okay, yeah, because Cold Concrete Jungle, I like that tune, because it's pain. I mean, due respect to your parents. It's the truth. I'm, I'm, we're, there, we're, we're there in the cold concrete jungle, UK. It's a different type of thing. And mm. cold concrete jungle is one of those ones that you listen to it and it says, "Front tree, um, kind trees, um, but don't bring trouble to my doorstep. And I can yeah. remember my mum saying, listen, you can go out there and do whatever you yeah. want, but don't. I remember they used to warn you if you, if you ever bring anything come my yard it, it, it's, it's a different problem you're yeah, done yeah, so yeah. we didn't do it mm. we didn't do it and I'm proud to say I never got myself into anything yeah, because yeah. The, I could don't think you can handle that situation when you go back home isn't it? mm -hmm. it's, it's the embarrassment of it yeah, yeah, yeah. so I never got myself into anything so mm. when they used to call me either a pretty boy or those things at school or sweet boy and it was because I was kind of disciplined and I, I used to go to school Prim and proper and return home prim and proper. Right, well, you're good, you're good stuff. Yeah, no, I didn't want no scuffs on my shoes, no, yeah. nothing like that. I, was, I, 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 was, like, I wish I could hold up my hands and say, but I can't, nah. I can't. And I used to play football <laughs> rough minty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we used to wear fires. I remember putting a hole in one of my fires one time was at school and we had to patch them at them time because mm. fires are expensive. Yeah. Mm. So we went through all of those processes. But it's about the discipline. Cold Concrete Jungle has got that message in that resonates yeah, with yeah, children. Yeah, yeah. Be safe out there, and when your yeah. parents tell you you're something for a reason, you're under their regime up to 16 to 18, probably mm. your maximum time is when mm. you get flexibility from the age of 16, probably, mm. if you're under their roof. But your parents will tell you good for a reason, you know. Mm. I'm not saying in all cases, but sometimes you try to rebel against it, but they're doing it for your own safety, and that's the important thing of it, especially in this climate now. Mm. It is important to listen to reason, even yeah. if you say you're not going to act upon what they're saying, you have to calculate yeah. it and have a look. Why they're telling me this? Is there a reason why they're telling me this? Mm. You know, every time you do it, you bend the rules, we bend the rules sometimes. Yeah. Now there's got to be an order. There's got to be an order. Of course, you, just, know what I mean? you just be careful yeah. out there, please. Yeah. Don't get yourself mixed up into any things that you don't need to get yourself It's easy to just fall off the edge and go and follow the wrong part. So follow the right part yeah and then find it because yeah. the streets will teach your child if you allow it to you know yeah 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 but there's good and bad in the in, in the streets as well minty you mm. can go the good way with somebody you'll find a mentor yeah. that will teach you about molecules or whatever mm. you need to do within part of life it's got to be a balance it could be so, anything yeah, 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 yeah. yeah and it can teach you the wrong way and it's how you go so the streets will the streets will teach a child if you allow it to yeah 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 yeah, yeah? Mm. And this is the thing on the album. Yes, we've got a conscious section on there. Mm. There's a song on there called Prison Bed. Yeah, so that 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 is just saying, well, if you're going on the wrong part, you you, you don't want to be ending up in the prison. Two prison ways bed. that it can yeah. go from here yeah. to that. So you have the right way or you have the wrong way. Stupid, you know, damn idiot. Me never bite a bar of soap yet. No man now spin me round and call me Paulet. I remember when we used to travel out East Southwest. We don't have to worry about no knife, no, no vest. We love it to bend myself if a boy try to test. But we now look no trouble. No trouble. You think I'm prison play? It makes me mama pick me. So you're talking about prison bed where it says there's only two ways that this can go. You yeah. end up in a prison or you're dead now. Yeah. Prison bed mm. on the album, that's yeah. one of the songs and now I want people to go out there and listen to that. The, the, the music and lyrical content for prison bed, mm. concrete jungle, my child. Those are the conscious things that the yeah, Duke yeah. is giving out there to children. It's more for comfort as well. Mm. You listen to my album, mm. you'll find us on that will comfort you no yeah. matter what you go through. Even, even the Guardians. Cause remember, we are the Guardians. Guardians. So. Yeah. And yeah. that's important. And you know what? So we've just done the cover for Guardians. Mm. So Guardians is coming out. So oh. it will be out in that'll 2023. Be the, that'll be the next and then we're doing a video. Yeah. Guardians the next single. And this is the one that we're doing the visuals for it. Yeah. When we're doing the video. So everything is it's, it's needed. You see nowadays, 
in the, the media where visuals are needed. Right, so we're going yeah. backwards, Minty. So yeah, the ones yeah. that we do with Drop Gardens do the video, then we go back, it's only you, and yes, then we yes, go back yes, from yes, there, yes, and then we'll fill the videos. So with COVID, we had to play catch up and yeah, move yeah, it yeah. around, change teams, and do what we need to do. Oh, oh, yeah, so yeah. Gardens on its way. Okay, we nice, just got nice. the visuals back from that, and the visuals or the cover. Mm. You've seen Tapestry cover, yeah, we've got yeah, a yeah. twist on that, where I've listed, I think, 22 or something like my favorite artists. Mm. So they go through all your Delroy Wilson, yeah. your Jacob. So you're those. just paying homage and, and looking at those who set the team. They're on the cover. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're yeah. on the cover with me. If we let this craft go, who are going to pick it up now? Our forebearers left some gems for we, and we're steeped in reggae anthology. We are the guardians of the craft, of the craft. Of the crowd, we are the guardians. We are the guardians, yeah. So we are gonna put them to paper, and we are gonna rewrite this reggae order. We are the guardians of this year foundation. We are the guardians. Them send me on a mission. So I was on the stage at the O2 back in um, October, beginning of October, or mid-October, about the 14th of October. The Giant Giants and Lovers Rock. Yeah, 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 yeah. And when you have a look at that, if you see me moving across the stage at one point, mm. Desmond Decker's picture okay. is over me. Okay, I, I, I don't really notice. I'm going to look back. Yeah. Desmond Decker. And then you've got Bob Marley's picture that was over me. So I'm on the stage at O2 and you can see their pictures and they're on the cover of Guardians. So okay. it's one of those moments yeah. that when you look back on it, because I've done Rampage, which yeah, was a yeah, take on yeah. some of it, well, so that, they're, they're with you, mm. you know. And when I said that, we'll guide your hand across the pages when you sing, we'll fill your stages. Mm. Those words came to me because I wrote at four o'clock in the morning where something woke me out of the bed and said, Come, let me write a song, Minty. Okay, okay, okay. Guardians, that's where that come from. Okay, nice. And even, even the. Um Speaking of the old two, I did check out the performance, nice performance there. Thank you very I mean, much. I may, may say so myself, because I remember, um, there's some people who know you, there's some people who might not know you. Yes. But I was standing in the car watching it, and people say, that, you know, at first they were looking to, but remember, there's only two, of, two songs you've done. Well, like I walked on there, in and the I had this, of the first this one. bright blue yeah. jacket with sequins on there. And everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The Duke style. Yes. Right, so when you go up there, you have to be at that level where, and I had a cold there as well. And funny enough, I spoke to um, Leon from the Blackstones. Mm. And he said, Duke, we just get this thing. And he said, no, you have won. And that, that's pleasing to me. Yeah. Get oh, there's a nice the confirmation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And sometimes when you're up there on a big mm. stage, you really can't feel it as much. Because you're not feeling it. Because you either use an in ears. You yeah. kind of separate yourself from even the band at some points as mm. well. But because the stage is so vast, and there was tables there this year. Yeah, we remember that, the VIP section and then the crowd behind that. Right, okay. so, and so, then you've got the balcony at the top yeah. and then you have a brief look up there because you'd be constantly looking up and things. But mm. it was a great experience to be on that stage yeah, as well. Yeah, no, no, it was good. I'm not going not gonna to lie to you if that had done good. Looking back on the footage, when mm. I look at it, it's one of those ones that I can watch back with pride rather yeah. than something where you can go... <sighs> Yeah, yeah, wins yeah. because you didn't catch something right but I can mm -hmm. watch that performance all the way through and be happy with what I delivered at the O2 yeah. so hopefully we can go out there next year and deliver this one again you, yeah. know? you performed two tracks there you performed the um, slowly, um, slowly 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 open up. And, and then and then um you finish off with the tapestry tapestry and um they 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 they, they took to that well I could hear that yeah, yeah 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 and that was the thing is that I had a conscious decision do I go with slowly, slowly, and it's something like catching feelings, or it's only yeah, you? Only you, yeah, because you remember, because it's a lovers' rock thing. Do right, you know what? But I, I think said to do two slow ones right at the beginning because I was like one of the front openers. Yeah, so yeah you was about, the second act. Second act. I think get to like act five. The show is chugging, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we're the ones that are on there. So I thought if I do another slow one, at least I. It might not be things. So tapestry, you, you know, you chose it with. Right. Right. And it's the right. thing is yeah. that we had debates on that with several people. Mm. And that's why funny people see music as this thing where yeah, everybody's got their opinion. You can't get too upset with people's opinion on what you do within the industry. You'll mm. be upset every minute of every day, Minty. Mm -hmm. So what happened is that when they've done the list, I submitted it to the label, Lucky 13 Records, and they said, okay, what do you want to do? I said, okay, so 
definitely slowly, slowly. It's only you, and then I'll probably go tapestry. And then when it said you're set seven minutes, what you're gonna cut now? To get rid of it's only you. Let's just run the arm tapestry. And it worked. Yeah, now it worked. Good. And you know what? You know what? Tapestry is the name of the album. So that, that's a self entitled track of that. Yeah. The tapestry. Um, the first line. Says it all. Enough of them are decorating for joke. Chill. Yeah. Yeah. No of them to never pass reggae out that them mouth. Cause you know what? Let me say it like it is. You know. Cause um, what should I say? I was in Jamaica earlier this year. Yeah. And even I uh, speak to in America and that regular, and they saying, "Yo, Minty, I'm not gonna lie. Quality coming out of the UK is 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 ridiculous." So I, you know, well, I'm, I just, I'm just there quiet. Coming out of the genre, just like yeah. completely. But, but, I think it's because, as I said to you, Mindy, there's a production thing mm. that your production, because I've got hundreds of songs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? But you probably have to go, they all have to go through the process for them to be churned out to be there. Mm. You need to deliver. Nah, it's everywhere, but obviously, that, that conversation, he was focused, I'm in the UK, he's focusing on the UK, he said, I'm not going to lie, I used to love the love of Zucker and, and all this thing coming out of there, and they couldn't wait for. Like, remember, they, they used to Peter Hanningale and, 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 and Mike Anthony, Sandra Cross and, 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 and yeah. yeah, so Janet Kane, yeah, yeah, so um, Carl Thompson, yes, um, so when they when they came, now we're not getting them the, the, the sound again, so that's why I say quality over quantity, is it's it not good? how much tunes you're putting out, is take your more? time and and and, uh, and put your yeah, all into your music. We're not chasing down this fame thing, Minty. Mm. We're not doing that. That's the yeah, thing. Let's yeah, get yeah, it right. Yeah, We're not yeah. chasing down the fame thing or the vanity. That's not what the Duke's into it mm. for. Mm. I did because I've delivered a product. Yeah, if you have a do message. It. Yeah, do it, do it well. And this, yeah, is why I want, this is why I've come back to old style where trucking them out and physical copies because mm. I want people to invest in it and gravitate to it and pick up a copy of the album and buy a copy. And that's why we packaged it out the way that we did. So it's that trinket that you can keep and... Okay, it's a quality piece of thing that we put together. Cause it's Speak, a speaking of the package, all right, see it there? Yeah. Well, that's a good interview. Right. Tapestry. You know, you know, you know, all business people, you know, you have these little business card holders. Yeah. Right. yeah. Look, look, tapestry. Yeah. Tapestry. Right. When you open up the, 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 the thing. Yeah. You got your cards in there. Water, water. This is a signed copy, yeah? From the, from the Duke himself, yeah? Yeah. Right, so in there, you had a card, business card. And that's got all my socials on there as well. All your, all his details, yeah. get a hold of him. You got the track listing that was in there as well, yeah, of the tapestry. More information of Lucky 13 Records. Yeah. And this, the cover of the album, the artwork cover, yeah, it's just like a credit card, yeah? So, it, that's what they call it. Is it a credit yeah, card? Yeah, it's a credit card. It's, it's USB um, credit cards. It's the same shape. Yeah, it's the same, same style. style. Right, so anyway, take a listen. Look at look at this. Credit card size, yeah? Nice and thin. Tapestry. On the back, you've got the track listing again. Track listing. Mm -hmm. And then at the bottom here now, you just yeah. flick out this thing here. Watch, watch. flick it. Go like this. Lamb, USB. Yeah, See there? Blam. Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Blam. Tapata. Dapa style. Yes. Yeah. Only from the Duke, you know. <laughs> yeah. the, the, the thing is that the way that it looks good, I mean, you, you have a look at it, that's the, the technology where they're moving to forward other than CD. Yeah, than nah, it's, it's, it's a nice packaging, I'm not going to lie. Thank you. And that, that, that's what we want, is that I use my business corporate stuff for my day-to-day <clears> -day <throat> -day into the music. And how can I combine the two? Put it out as a product because we're mm. selling product. We're about shifting numbers now, Minty. Yeah, 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 We've yeah. done all the work. The work's been inside there. There's a return of investment figure. I've said it on the radio many times. Mm. Is that that figures over my head? But I've got that project that we're going to be moving. Is my next project going to be that value? Is it going to be yeah. this value or that value? They can throw the works at it. So if you're going to do something, right? Do, do so it, who's yeah. going to give me a pound yeah. on my next project if I can't recoup the money that I've done on this one? Yeah. It's not going to happen. So. These these albums, at the moment, anywhere you see the Duke, he's performing anywhere. He's always gonna have them albums with him. So if you need your own personal album, just flick it over, stick it in your car, your yard, your USB, you your computer. Play. Yes. Plug it. Just plug and play. 
simple. We're going to be moving to more formats now in 2024. We're mm. going to do some CDs and we're also going to do some albums. Because what happens is that because that's a USB stick, the capacity on that is bigger than what you can fit on yeah. the CD or on an album. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the thing is that we have got different mixes that will be going onto the CDs and the album moving forward. Okay, nice, yeah. nice, So nice. in 2024, you should be able to get them. But if now in 2023, you go on to Lucky13, which is www.lucky13records.co.uk. You should be able to order it and we'll send it out like package across the world as okay, well. Okay, now. And then it'll soon be online. A disc it it will be. It will soon. be. And yeah. that will be earlier next year because we're holding it off because we want to yeah. like um, catch it in a certain market for next year. So it will okay, be online. Nice, nice. But if you want your personal. Personal signed copy. Yeah, you've got yeah. 500 to limited editions with Sparky Melody on it. And then mm. moving forward, it's going to have the Duke on it. Nice, so, nice, nice. So we move forward Package to the well. Yes, sir. Thank you. You need one, yeah? They, Flick, plug and play, straight into your car. You there you go. Tapestry yeah. by the Tapestry. Duke. Mm. Yes, sir. And you know what? Another song off the album that, you know, I just got this vibey feeling. That's why I said it's the album, it's an international album. Yes. For all markets, all yes. genres, all creeds, all colours. Um, Rich Man, Poor Man. Yeah. Because it's got that African salsa kind of, you, you, you just, you just want to, if you can't dance, that's where it came from. you soon see you'll, 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 find, you'll find yourself on something. Yeah, 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 and that yeah. is for like the South American markets as yes, well. And that's yes, why, yes. Why, why we've done that. Because the salsa man is big down in Brazil. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. those markets. And I wanted to feed something. So I've got a song on there called Chase Your Blues. Chase the Blues, where yes. Where yes. I'm singing in Spanish in some phrases. Mm -hmm. So. Um, ah, that's why I couldn't understand it. Right, right. <laughs> so, yeah, Chase Your Blues. So, <laughs> you got Siempre, yeah, Always, yeah. and words like that with inside there. Mm. Ven aquí means come here. Okay, so, okay. Yeah, so we've got the Spanish influence inside there so we can get that feeling and yeah. send the music okay, out. Nice, nice. And that's why with um, the one that you just mentioned there. What did you call the title again? It was a rich man, poor man. There you go. Yes, you know, yes, yeah, yes, I was yes. just testing you. <laughs> rich, 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 rich poor man. <laughs> I'll, I'll tell you, I'll be playing this yeah, album. I tell you, rich and poor man. I'll test me. I'll test yeah. you. <laughs> songs as well i have to more think about how would that look in a video how would yeah, that yeah, look so yeah. we, we so that's why i think the songs come out bigger than what they are sometimes yeah, as well yeah, because yeah. you're thinking what can you get out of it for the rest of the media mm. markets mm. yeah nice 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 15 big tracks on this album tapestry 15 in it 15 and and you could just leave it play one after the other you shouldn't you're yeah, gonna yeah. find something that, that you is don't really want to yeah, you yeah. don't really want to skip and that's yeah. what I want to try to make an yeah. album to say could people listen to it and skipping it. So hand on heart, Minty, when mm. you listen to it, do you skip or do you to go through the No, I just leave it. But tail tail on stoop, uh go to my favourites and you I go I, number eight, Guardians. Yeah, Guardians. Like shout, Guardians, my child and then things and then the rest work. And uh, so my child and addicted to love. They they're the three tracks that, that, that It's funny that you've gone for addicted to poison, yeah. Minty. Addicted to poison, yeah. Serious song. Because you know what? Although people know me as reggae man, but I listen to everything. So there's, there's a stage where I can listen to jazz. So I just like my like subtle vibes. And yeah. Addicted to the poison's got that the beat where you just do do do. You know, you just it's, it's nice. just in the melody. I I, I can words. see myself wooing one, one, one woman just. Addicted just, to yeah, poison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, addicted man. Poison, yeah, yeah. But don't forget, it's addicted to poison now. Yeah, Make yeah, sure yeah. you do woo the right one. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to be addicted to the wrong yeah, someone. Right, you know? Yeah, it's, it's to be the right one, Minty. It can yeah, cause your world yeah. of pain. Mm. So that's, that's how it goes, man. Yeah, man. And, and you see, most of these, um, well, you're writing, see, they're based off of, of, obviously, sometimes when you write, they're based off a true, true 
or there's things there's, that happen. Like life, life experience. Life experience. Yeah, yeah. So this was the thing is that when you write this album, when I wrote the project, he said, "Do you write surface music, mm. or do you write from within?" And for me to deliver my true self on this album to give out to the world, mm. I had to write from within, Minty. I had to go to some deep places and pull out everything I needed to do. Yeah, yeah. I don't really want to reveal I'm a private person in what I do, but like as my music progresses, you become yeah. more of a public figure within yeah, yeah, yeah. the music industry. Yeah. But you just listen and to the music and, and then you'll be seeing, boy, this is coming from his heart. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. That, that, that's the thing is that you have ones like um, You Got Me in there, mm. where You Got Me is a big song. Mm. And that just means about that person that you're with is that yeah, anything yeah. I do, you console me when it goes wrong. You kind of boost me when I need the boosting, yeah, you're, you're, and then you praise me, me when yeah, it goes yeah. right. And that's yeah. the person that's got your back, Minty. Yeah. And that's what you got me is about. My child is written about keep pushing, 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 mm. no matter what adversities you, you, you face. Prison bed is the one that says, please, please keep out of trouble. You see these things with social media with these children getting themselves involved in certain things that they shouldn't be getting themselves mm. involved in. It breaks my heart to see things that their parents have to endure and you you do something it's not only your family that has to suffer the consequences it's the other family as well and that's heartbreaking yeah, yeah so yeah. i just urge them to cut this thing out because it's ridiculous now oh, it's going to come back to us so yeah. uh, full time if we stop here this one's called tapestry let's defend lovers rocks let's take it to a different level Whoa! yeah you hear me tapestry Watch the Jew, watch me now, girlie. Hey, me sing say, enough of them I take with teeth in true to you. Need to know about the tapestry album. Well, tapestry, well, go to www.lucky13records.co.uk and then have a look under Sparky Melody, the Duke, and you should be able to see Tapestry. You should be able to order a copy from next year, 2024. It will be available on downloads, but at the moment, support the Duke. We're just into shifting numbers at the moment. Your tapestry is an album you will enjoy for a money back guarantee. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes. So, um, Obviously, you're on social media, Insta. Give out your Insta. Work. Right, so um, it's Sparky Melody One. So that's S P A R K I E Melody Number One, and the rest is Sparky Melody. You'll be able to find me. I'm all over the place. 
It's an honour. Thank you very much for mm. the no, 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 time. No, 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 and for no, me no. to be the first to be on the new Avalon Reggae, 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 Reggae podcast. Yeah. Listen. It's a pleasure. First of many, yeah. There so you go. I know. You... I'll be watching out for them, Minty. Bless mm. up, sir. Nice to see yes, you. Yes, sir. Like, like guys. Yes, there, sir. Yeah? Thank you. And I'll keep up the good work. Yes, man. Tapestry. You too. Listen out for it. Tapestry. Lucky 13 Records. The Duke. Sparky Melody. And I'm Beevil. See you next time, yeah? Reggae. You know your jeggy. That we say all the while. Honours and upwards. Jagai and protection always.